Hello, I am back. Here is my 100% portable LED 100 watt light. Now, this, now I have it set on cool white, but I have warm white right here, as you can see. There's warm white, cool, warm, cool, warm. And I have a couple more warm whites there. Alright, so now, let's talk about the power. Power supply, then converter, then LED, then cooling, then we'll turn this baby on. So, so I have a uh, lead acid, 10 amp, 10 amp hour battery. And I have the positive crimped going to the switch right here. It's just a simple old rocker, micro toggle switch, a single pole, single pole, single throw switch. After that, it's going to here to this to my inverter, which I have it set around like 33 volts, as you can see, current adjustment. Now, from there, the output is going directly to the LED light, and then the negative or well, the ground side is going pretty much directly to here. I just have a little slack, so I have to take the battery out and charge it up. I don't have to like pull it out or something. All right, so now let's talk about the cooling system. I have the positive lead from the switch. I forgot to crimp it over here, but nothing to worry about. I, I've, I actually crimped it on this side. And from here, I have it going to a uh, thermal switch right here. I have it set at a, when, a, when this gets above 140 degrees Fahrenheit, well, 40 degrees centigrade, it'll close, thus turning on the circuit. Then after that, from here goes there. Then after after that, it it branches off. Let's try and pull out. There it is. It goes into this uh, thingamajig. I forgot what the hell it's called. After that, it goes to the two fans. Thus, and then after it, it goes to another thingamajig. Thingamajig. Thingamajigger. And going in here, then to the inverter, which is on a 12 volt ground side. So, thus making a complete circuit. Alright, now this is open, which is why the fans are not running and saving electricity. Now I have the the thermo switch to save electricity, so when this gets, so I turn this on momentarily, the fans will not kick on. I only have this on for, I turn it on for long periods of time. So, now let's see this thing running. So now, let's turn on. Put you on a little tripod thingamajig. Put this thingamajig on. I don't know why I'm saying thingamajig a lot tonight. But, oh well. Hope it doesn't bother you. If you are, then we're in trouble. So let's just put on two sides. Okay. And all you gotta do is just flip on the switch and it'll turn on. Okay. This is daylight. Bang. Alright. You can see it does little to no effect with the lamp because I have the uh, lamp on and doesn't do much effect. Now I had this running, I had this running previously to warm it up a little bit, so it should kick on any seconds. It's starting to get warm. Hear it, heard it click on. Now, even if I turn this off, the fans would turn on or stay on. Do feel some heat. This is a little warm, and this and that will stay on. You can hear that taking a lot of current when I turn it off. You can hear the fan speed up in RPM. Turn it on. All right, so there it goes. Turn it back on. I don't know if you can see the blade at all. There it is. I should see it kick on any second now. Hey, it's starting to get hot. 
I'll kick on hopefully soon. You'll hear it click. click on and then as long as I will have this on it'll stay on until I turn it off airflow it's going it's sucking in here going through the heatsink and blowing out there I know it sounds wrong but I don't care it's a neat little system I got and yeah, so I'll just put it on the cover and I'll show you that I can move it around. It's not hooked up to anything. So I'll just put on the cover, turn it, turn this sucker on, then I'll walk around with it. Can me show you that I can move it around easily. So let's move it back a bit, like so. Turn off the light for effect. Pitch black. Turn this baby on. And bam. Practically daylight. Look at that. Move it around. And there, that is my 100 watt LED portable light. So, hope you liked it, and tell me what you think in the comments below. Oh, I f oh whoops, I forgot to tell you something. I have a door right here, so if I need to go charge it, I'd simply open the door. Take that out, just... I guess it got a little hot. So all you gotta do is just, let's just uh, disconnect that, and that, put it on the charger. Then when it's done, I have, I have a crimped on the red, red side. I just pop in the red one there and pop in the blue one there, or a black one. May paint it black or call it black or something. And once I'm done, once it's done charging, simply. Close up the door, and it's good for another hours, another hour of use. So, I think I like this system. So, tell me what you think in the comments below, and thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.